Now I will uh, discuss how to use the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus to calculate the net present value and internal rate return uh, of the uh, cash flow. See, exam is usually good to draw a timeline to indicate how the cash is flowing. Uh, usually I will put it into different intervals starting with from 0, 1, 2. This can be year, can be month, depending on the period of the cash paying. So usually I will use uh, our uh, arrow to indicate our cash flow and negative number. Like here I will say I invest $1,000. And then after the next period, maybe I will have like a 500 income. And then in the second period, uh, I will have another 500 income. And maybe on the third period, I will have uh, 1,000 income. Okay, and then from this uh, diagram, we can use the, the calculator to find what is the net present value or the internal rate of return. So here, uh, to start the calculation, remember to clear the word of the cash flow first. So you just press the cash flow, then we start uh, going into the uh, spreadsheet of the cash flow. And usually you want to clear the word here. So you press second and then clear the word then all the previous content will be clear. Now, then I will start in, input the data, right? So SCF0 means the initial investment. So here I will put 1000 minus and then enter. And then you use this arrow key to go to the next cash flow. So for C01, it means the uh, payment uh, or the, uh, the cash flow in the first period. Then it will be 500 because this is a cash inflow. So this is positive. So I just enter. So here is interesting. You have F01. It means the frequency. So if you know that it's actually repetitive in the coming periods, you can just input the frequency. If you know that they, the amount are the same. Say I know, I know that there will be two equivalent cash flow in the two consecutive period. I can just put two here. So otherwise, I will put 1. Again, I will go to the next cash flow. The next cash flow will be $1,000. So I put 1000 here and press Enter. Okay. So here you also see uh, there is a delete and insert here. You can use the uh, delete and insert. You can use the se second delete or second insert to insert another cash flow in between You, if you find that you uh, miss something or you find that you uh, have extra cash flow which uh, so this can save your time so you can try it yourself I'm not going to demonstrate so once this is done you have to quit this uh, data entry mode so you press 0 and here quit okay now say you want to comp uh, compute the net present value you push the uh, MPV button and just give the uh, discount rate for this period this period can be a month, can be year, but you have to enter the right discount rate. This is just the rate where you put in the denominator when you do the discount. For example, 1 plus 0 0.1, right? Uh, for this first one, and then the next one will be 500 divided 1 plus 0 0.1 square for 10% discount rate. Okay, so here I will just put 10. Remember, put it in percentage, so 10, okay, instead of 0 0.1. So enter. Then you just go to the next key, and here you can compute the net present value. Just press NCPT here. Then you find that, oh, the net present value of this cash flow is 619. Using the same method, you can find the internal rate of return. So internal rate of return, as you know, is just to equate the net present value to zero, right? So you don't have to input anything. Just press compute. Then you know that the internal rate of return will be 38%. Okay.